welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be trying out the wet look. Um, I've been seeing this on YouTube. I watched the Curl Guru, um, hopefully I said, yeah, the Curl Guru. Um, I liked her video and that's the video that inspired me to do this. I do the wet look in the summertime, but with my wet look, I only have it wet and it only looks like that for a couple hours and then after that my hair will start to dry and expand. Well, with this actual look, the wet look, you're supposed to have it to actually look like that for like the entire day or how long it lasts in your hair. I'm gonna start off by putting a base on my hair which is like a leave-in conditioner because I definitely don't like to start on my hair without a leave-in conditioner, but the key is to use a really good gel. So the gel that I'm using today I actually got from ORS at the Natural Hair Show in Atlanta. So I'm going to be trying that out for the first time and I'm also going to be using, oh my god it's almost gone, it's like turned upside down. I'm going to be using the Norwich by Shantae leave-in conditioner. I'll show you guys exactly how I'm going to do this. Bye. to mention that I did start off on wet hair so I just got done washing my hair and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my dimming brush to brush out my curls just because you don't want your hair to be too puffy mousse on my hair just because honestly I used to put mousse on my hair when I used to do wet looks back in the day. This is a more curl friendly mousse. It's by Shea Moisture so we're gonna be using that today. I'm gonna take some edge control and put it on my edges and then I'm gonna go in with my gel. The gel that I'm using is by ORS Curls Unleashed and it's the Coconut and Shea Butter Curl Coil HD Gel Souffle. So this is my first time trying this out has a very strong smell. Your gel is the key to having the wet look, so you wanna make sure that you have a good gel or a gel that is gonna hold your hair. So I just put a lot of gel on my hair and honestly I've never put that much gel on my hair. I'm going to put an oil on top of it and to be honest if you are not using the oil to 
sew your hair and to just make sure that your hair is not looking super dry then I honestly don't know what you're doing with your life so I'm gonna be going in with Nourish by Shantae hair growth oil and that way I don't have to worry about my hair being super dry from the gel Okay, so to hold all of this in place, I'm going to put on a scarf and that's just to make sure that everything stays in place because the thing with the wet look is you don't want your hair to be moving too much. You wanna keep it all flat. I'm going to take a blow dryer and I'm going to put it on very low heat and just add a little bit of blow drying air to it. And this is because I want my hair to kind of like mold into place. So let's go ahead and go through with that. So I'm also gonna walk around the house for a little bit um, just because my hair is not dry and I'm impatient and that blow dryer is gonna take a little bit too long. So I'm just gonna walk around for about 30 minutes and come back. So the top of my hair is completely dry. It looks so good. But the middle of my hair, when you get to like right here, it's about 75% dry. So it's not all the way dry. I will have to use my blow dryer again to get it super dry. Or I would just let it air dry, which is what I'm gonna probably let it do. But this actually turned out pretty good because normally my hair will be a little bit bigger and with all the gel and product that's in my hair, it's gonna take it a while to, to fully dry. But this is the completed look with it being about 75% dry. And I hope that you guys will try it out yourself. If you have, leave it down in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my wet look. Bye. My life wasn't perfect, yeah, I know that now When it came crashing down All I know is that I need you around When it comes crashing down All I need is